What's happening, my curious health fanatics? We all know that exercise promotes a healthy heart and has many other beneficial factors. What we are concerned with though is what type of exercise extends our life and what type of exercise could speed up the aging process. My previous videos have talked about telomeres and how important their length is on cellular aging. Well, it turns out that exercise lengthens telomeres. A study carried out at Brigham University, Utah by Professor Larry Tucker profoundly showed that individuals that performed regular, vigorous physical activity had longer telomeres than those that sat down and lived sedentary lifestyles. But how profound were the telomere differences? For those that did intense exercise, such as jogging for 30 or 40 minutes per day for five days per week, had a nine year advantage than those that did nothing. Those that did moderate exercise had a seven year advantage. You do not have to jog for 30 minutes each day to live longer though. Just be more active around the house, in the garden, with the kids, etc. High intensity interval training, or HIT was even better than jogging was. A study by the Mayo Clinic showed that HIT did not just give us all the physical advantages you would expect from exercise, such as muscle mass and strength, improved cardiovascular function, decreased risk of diabetes, but our mitochondria, our cell's battery pack, was boosted by 69%. When mitochondria slows, our cells cannot function properly, leaving our body weak, frail, and open to disease. And we've all seen older people hobbling around like this. Maybe had they done some hit, they could have powered their cells to ward off any age-related decline or disease. The Mayo Clinic study showed that just two or three sessions per week can have dramatic effects on your mitochondrial function. So get that bike, do some burpees, do some jump lunges, do some jump squats, and work those cells. Personally, I do three sets of 60 second bursts of mountain climbers with 30 second intervals in the mornings. The interval is very, very important as you need an elevated heart rate and breathing to really call the exercise high intensity interval training. So 30 seconds seems perfect for me. In the afternoons, I also do three sets of 30 jump lunges with 60 second intervals which are longer intervals, but the exercise is much harder. You don't need to do these every day. Three times a week will get you the health benefits. I also lift weights for about 30 minutes, 30 minutes each session. And I do that four times a week to prevent the onset of frailty by maintaining bone and muscle mass. So my physical investment is around two and a half hours per week. And learn proper lifting techniques from a personal trainer and lift weights which feel heavy. And trust me, if you haven't learnt the science of lifting weights, there is a very high chance you are lifting weights wrong. Also chat with your health healthcare professional before doing anything you hear about online. So in a joint effort by the University of Mississippi and the University of San Francisco, where data was taken from participants and compared based on their exercise versus their telomere length. What was found incredible? The more types of exercise that someone performed, the bigger and better the result for their telomeres. So for example, riding a bike is good, but lifting weights on the following day, as opposed to just riding a bike, was even better. So you could do boxercise on the third day or some other type of exercise and ride a bike and lift weights. So those combinations of exercises are just examples, but you get the picture. So mix things up. Do not use the same muscle groups over and over. Cardio and resistance training for the entire body is great. Worth noting as well that the age group that had the most benefits when performing different types of exercises were between the ages of 40 and 65, which means middle age could be the best time to get longevity savvy. Marathon running and similar exercise, however, can aid you faster by increasing your cortisol levels for long periods and which also causes prolonged exposure to free radicals. And of course, in addition, it might expose you to the sun and it may increase wear and tear on your joints. And for many of these athletes, 
eating more animal protein will also age you faster. So no, no five hour bike rides please. 30 to 45 minutes at most is fine and is all your telomeres need. Exercise post oxygen consumption or EPOC is basically a fancy way of saying that your body continues to burn calories after you have exercised. The more intense your exercise, the longer your body stays in EPOC, burning calories after you have exercised. This is why high intensity interval training is so effective because your body may continue to burn calories for many hours after you have stopped exercising as opposed to an exercise such as walking which would hold very little EPOC advantage. So if burning and losing fat is your goal, then choose exercises that will drag out the afterburn effect for many hours. My simple three minutes of high intensity interval training, two hours of weightlifting a week, and only eating after lunchtime and never after 6 p.m. allows me to eat pretty much anything I want without ever putting on weight because my body is always burning calories. However, on the weekends or at social events, I often enjoy falling off the wagon. So no, I'm no saint pretending to be 100% disciplined. I can easily fall off the wagon and still remain extremely athletic. Always chat with your doctor about information you see online first. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash that thumbs up button and also consider subscribing. And if you don't, then face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.